going for a nice stroll on the streets of Queens towards Flushing Corona Park. It's a nice day as I was walking. It did rain a little bit after, but uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty humid also, but uh, not not too bad. I wore my mask for the first uh, like 10 15 minutes of my walk, but then I took it off when I got to the park when there was plenty of space for everybody to run around and walk around each other. So, this is uh, my neighborhood. I live right near the Long Island Expressway, LIE. So there's lots of uh, traffic near where I live, especially during the holidays. I also live near four major malls, so they used to be a lot more busy, but since the lockdown, it's been a little bit less crowd, so it's kind of good news and bad news at the same time. Miss, uh, miss going to a lot of my uh, takeout places inside the mall and the food court since it's been closed for a while. But uh, since I cook mostly at home, I don't miss it too much. But uh, I do like hanging out inside the mall once in a while to check out new technology like the Apple Store and uh, all the other things they had down there. Uh, so I'm walking by this Paris Hotel here. Interesting. And then there's a old senior home. Yeah, nice little senior center right next to the park. See a lot of them uh, in the windows and a lot of times they're sitting outside getting some fresh air. Nice folks. Anyways, right near the entrance of the park here. I used to come here also a lot when I was a, a kid since uh, the first year or two when I moved to America, I lived in Flushing and I lived right close to the park and I used to come here with my brother and family a lot to run around, play around, ride my bike and other things. So we also had lots of picnics here and went to the, the fair, the dragon boat races here a lot in the summer. Super nice. Yeah, the people, the groundskeepers, park groundskeepers are doing their job pretty well. Everything looks really nice. There were several water fountains that were seemed to be, I don't know, broken or made to spray water <laughs> along the walkways over here. So that was kind of fun running underneath the water sprays arches of water cooled me off during this humid day yeah by the time I finished my whole tank top then uh, Schwartz was soaking wet and sweat <laughs> but didn't matter I went shopping right after this and it started raining right after I finished shopping at the Aldi's in the moor near where I lived so the rain was kind of nice cooled me off as I was walking home with two big bags of groceries I love this columns of trees along this walkway here in the park beautiful know there's another big tree blown down by probably the storm on Tuesday or so last Tuesday that's a week ago who knows maybe it came down afterwards
notice this uh, skating park area as I was walking towards the exit of this section of the park. So I last time but I didn't really stop to appreciate it as much. It was pretty fun. Had a lot of kids here. Well a few kids, not a lot. A few kids uh, playing with their scooters and skateboards and bikes. I might come by here one of these days with my own uh, auto blades and uh, bicycle or whatever and play a little bit here myself since I just noticed it so weeks ago. It's funny how you don't notice things and it's right under your nose sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, it's pretty fun. Lots of uh, stairs and ramps and other things to do a lot of tricks on here. Make sure I wear my helmet when I come here next time so I could have some fun. The guy on the bike looked like he was uh, just warming up, but I didn't stay too long. Probably do a lot more than he was showing over here. He just got in here when I showed up, so. And the beautiful architecture of this towers and columns here. I love this, it looks so cool. Another little tiny tree that fell right near the exit of the park. Walking out of the park, was ready and walking home again on the streets. Sidewalk, have a great day.